What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new Brawl Stars video. Today, we're going to be jumping into Bounty at the Cabbage Patch with Piper. Now, we're playing Piper today because a whole bunch of people are saying that long-range brawlers are basically dead after this most recent update. And I'd like to go ahead and try to put that to the test and sort of just see what my opinion is on this entire debate because there's quite a few people on both sides of it. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into our first match. Now, we are running sort of a fun comp here. We do have Crow, who's going to be very, very fun to play with. We've also got Daryl because we needed a Bull, a Daryl, or a Primo to sort of tank, even though this is sort of a longer range friendly map. Um, even like with the, the change from Portrait to Landscape, it almost makes it so these shorter range brawlers like Daryl, Primo, and even Bull are uh, somewhat usable in maps that tend to favor the longer range brawlers. And you, as you guys can see, we were able to go ahead and get a couple kills right off the bat, actually. That was that was really solid. Uh, that felt really, really intuitive. I was kind of surprised. Um, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that that just happened, honestly. Uh, that, that felt pretty decent, you know? That felt pretty decent. Let's go ahead and try to get some kills this way. Just shoot off some shots. We're going to grab another kill, just shooting off into the distance. And uh, it looks like almost because people can't see me, they don't know where to expect the shot from. And then all of a sudden, you know, 3k-ish damage just comes out of nowhere. And that's very hard to deal with. So now we're 7 and oh, Things looking exceptionally good right now for us. The super coming off from Brock. It's going to be relatively failed, though. And uh, we're going to be good to go to continue on this just heavy offensive. Let's go ahead and shoot off a couple shots here. Try to do some damage to a couple of these brawlers. You know, they deal a lot of damage as well. We do have the, the Brock Super going off here. We need to be a little bit weary of. That's got a lot of damage potential. So just being careful is a little bit important. I'm going to go ahead and just super off into the distance because I want to maintain my distance here and then be able to sort of shoot them through these little holes and areas right now. Uh, we're going to do some damage to Tara. We're going to do some damage to Poco. Looking okay there. Uh, we can't die right now, though. That's going to give them the lead again, and I don't like that too much. Notice that I am not using my uh auto attack feature at the moment i'm gonna try that out in a future match but right now i'm just feeling relatively comfortable using these right now uh just the normal uh controls honestly they don't feel too bad and i was expecting them to be a lot worse than they are oh geez but it, i have to say you kind of have to line your shot up a little bit quicker than maybe you're going to be used to um that's one not necessarily a disadvantage but it's something you're just going to have to get used to you know uh, let's try to take out this Brock because he's going to be a little bit annoying to deal with. I'm going to get supered here. I see it a mile away, dude. I see it a mile away. Actually, I'm not going to get supered here. Nine and eight. Unfortunately, going down there, that's going to be uh, a shot straight down. And uh, nine and 11, we're not looking too good right now, guys. If we could fix this real fast and take out this Brock, that would be awesome. I would be so happy if we could just take him out real fast. Shoot off into the distance and hope for the best. Unfortunately, it's not going to happen. 11 and 13. Very, very close. Unfortunately, we're going to eat up that loss right off the bat to start things off. It went very well for most of the match. I'm just, I'm a little bit sad because everything was going so well and then it just sort of fell out of reach towards the end there. It's okay, though. It's not that big of a deal. We can just jump into another one and get this ball rolling. Hopefully, grab a win and get those extra win bonus keys and uh, then double them for a total of about 60. That would be fantastic. I always like getting bonus whatever the currency may be. So getting extra keys is very, very nice. Especially since I'm not even close to having a totally maxed out account. Getting all the Brawl Boxes I can possibly get is very important. Now, this time around, I feel like we ought to go ahead and try out the auto attack system. And just see if we like it. Uh, for instance, right there, I don't like it very much. Because it was shooting at Ricochet when I wanted to go ahead and shoot at Pam and Piper. So I'm not a fan of it in that context. Uh, let's go ahead and line up some shots here and see if we can sort of uh, bring this back around. It's not looking bad right now, but they're definitely in a in a really good position at the moment. Um, let's take out this ricochet real fast. Do some damage there. Go ahead and take out the healing station because that thing's going to be annoying as it gets to deal with, dude. And uh, just try to do some damage to this Pam. Save the... Oh. Yeah, well... Not going to be saving the day like that, guys. That is for sure. We need to destroy this opening right now. And it looks like Piper's actually going to help us out. Um, I'm going to actually benefit very significantly from this, from having this opened up. So uh, the auto attack not really doing the best for me. It did get one shot. 
Like, it landed one shot, so that's okay. Um, I heard the statistic is like 50-ish percent. So, I guess I can't really say that it's great, but it's probably not bad either. Go ahead and grab a kill on Ricochet there. Just an easy shot. Not even that big of a deal at all. And do some damage to this Pam. Please take her out. Please take her out. Wow, that was actually a really solid placement there. Really solid placement. And we're going to take out Ricochet very quick, very easily. Let's take out this Pam as well while we're at it, huh? Maybe, just maybe. Uh, do some damage to Piper. Do some more damage to Piper. Piper's going to go down. We're going to have to protect Crow real quick here, but that's not that big of a deal. The super's not going down from Ricochet, so things are looking okay here. I'm going to go ahead and throw down my super just to destroy this area, so maybe we can uh, save the day real quick. It does look like we have... A uh, crow going in right now. 12 and 12. Things looking very neutral at the moment with about 20 seconds remaining. Maybe we can bring this one back. I need to definitely heal back up. That's for sure. Okay, let's use auto attack. Can auto attack carry me to a victory? Can auto attack carry me to a victory? Maybe. Just maybe. Shoot. Why did you shoot there? Why did you... Why? 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 But why? <laughs> but why though? But Why? 15 and 15, gonna be a neutral just sort of end there, and we're gonna end it in a draw. That kind of sucks. I was really looking forward to winning that match. It looked very, very promising for a long time there. Again, they just sort of caught back up towards the end there, and uh, we weren't able to bring it back, unfortunately. But at least we didn't lose, you know? At least we didn't lose trophies there. I'm good with it. Um, I gotta say, after just playing a couple matches here, I feel like I could definitely get used to this new system with these longer range brawlers, but it is somewhat of a nerf in my opinion, at least temporarily. Maybe not for the long term, but definitely for the short term. So, we'll have to see how we can acclimate to it over time, because I, I feel like it might be good in the long run, but just right now, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, let's do some damage there. Crow is going to get eaten up by our crow, who is the better crow, and uh, that's going to be pretty nice. Let's go ahead and do some damage to this colt while we can. While we can, maybe. Uh, that would be ideal. That would be ideal. See, you can line up shots a little bit easier, I think. Um, you can make adjustments quicker, so I don't know. Maybe that's pretty good. Uh, shoot, dude. Shoot. That crow just went in, man. Not good, not good. Five and three, that, and we're on the loss there. That sucks. Let's see if we can bring this back. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure we can. I'm sure it's not going to be a matter of if, but more a matter of uh, when, right? We can definitely pull this out. That is for sure. I'm getting, uh, yeah, I got nuked there. That's unfortunate, guys. We are going to go ahead and nuke the, <laughs> the opposing crow, which is nice. It's always solid. Uh, oh, jeez. Get that kill, please. Get that kill, please. You're kidding me right now, dude. Okay, we got Jesse trying to get that kill on us, but it's not going to work out. We're going to be able to heal up just fine. Guard I'm going in clutch with 39 HP remaining. Holy crap, dude. Good job. Wow, man. That was nuts. What a great job. We're going to go ahead and take a kill against the enemy crow. 17 and 10. Things are going exceptionally well at the moment. And we're going to go ahead and grab another kill against Colt. 19 and 10. Things are going so well, guys. So well for us. If we just continue, continue this sort of domination that we saw in the last about 30 seconds, things are going to go very well moving up to the end of this match. Unfortunately, it does look like we're going to lose Chucho. That kind of sucks, but 13 and 19, as long as both of us don't die here, we're going to be okay. We will be just fine. Like, that's going to be no biggie at all, guys. I'm going to get ready to use my super. Chucho's... Oh, Guard Golem's actually going to go ahead and take another kill, which is solid. Um, I'm going to try to actually just clip around walls and auto attack, maybe. That might work out. Go ahead and throw down that super. Bam, son! Oh, jeez, we're actually going to lose. We're actually going to lose. No, we didn't. Wow. That was very, very close. That was very, very close. I was ready to accept the loss, man. I had 250 HP left, and I was going down. But fortunately, we actually just ran it straight up to the buzzer there. That's actually going to be doubled into 100 keys. We got a full Brawl Box from that. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Let's jump into another match and see how it goes. But that was that was solid. So we, are, we lost one, we won one, and we went neutral and drew in one. So, let's see if we can make this a positive score here overall and win this match as well. I gotta say, my initial comments were definitely a little bit, uh, 
jaded by, I, I guess would be the best way to put it, by the fact that I hadn't actually played this update very much, but I'm starting to get used to it, I feel like. Uh, this, this control scheme isn't that bad. It really isn't. Um... I, I still don't like the fact that the there's no static neutrals on the control sticks, but dual sticks for attacking, I mean, it doesn't kill the the uh, longer range brawlers, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure that they're still going to be able to function relatively normally, which is nice. You know, I, I totally thought they were going to be dead, but, you know, maybe not. Maybe maybe they'll be just fine. Four and three starting things off pretty darn well. Unfortunately, Chucho is going to take a little bit of damage there. He definitely needs to get out of this situation. I'm going to get supered right now. That Daryl is going in, my man, and we need to take him out before he takes out me or Crow. Um, that said, we're doing okay here. We're doing okay here. This is good. This is good. Do some damage. Unfortunately, it did not connect with the brawler I was looking for it to connect to. Uh, we're going to go one for one with some damage there, and Crow's going to go in. Take out Ricochet. Take out Daryl. My goodness. Almost take... He's going to go for the ace. He's going to straight up ace the enemy team and just take them all down at once. Guard Golem, my dude, absolutely destroying the enemy team with Crow. Fantastic job, my friend. Wow. Great job. Great job. Okay, so after that awesome display of just absolute domination destruction, I'm going to get murdered by Daryl. That, that was unintentional, guys. Fully unintentional. 17 and 9, though. Things still looking pretty up and up right now, that's for sure. Let's see if we can take out this Brock. He's just running into some bullets right now, which is always, always going to be the best case scenario unfortunately i'm gonna go down but fortunately the poison from crow is also going to take out ricochet for the aftershock and gr give us the the extra star there which is always nice to see 22 and 11 things going very well at the moment guys we are definitely looking just right in line for taking this one home right in line for it we're probably going to ace the enemy team here that's going to be the ace right i believe we just aced them again yeah 15 seconds remaining i kind of doubt they're going to be able to take this one back um, they get 16 stars, so they can't even win even if they kill all of us. So they need to kill all of us and then kill one of us again to actually win this match. There is literally no way they could win at this point. 28-17, we're taking it home in an absolutely dominant fashion. And uh, I have to say, my damage output coupled with the fact that Crow can keep them from healing up means that it's going to be very difficult for a team like that, other than maybe Daryl, to actually get much done. You know, my long-range damage is going to be insane, so you can't really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Piper that definitely knows a little bit more about what they're doing um, and maybe is getting a little bit more used to the, the overall control scheme uh, with Ricochet or with Brock, necessarily. So, you know, obviously there can be outplays on both sides and everything. This is not like an ironclad rule or anything like that, but it definitely is something that you want to just uh, sort of take into account when you're deciding what your matchups are going to be with the enemy team, you know, who you're going to focus on trying to take out. I just don't think it's a great idea to go after Piper with uh, a, a, a brawler that can't necessarily go one-to-one -one as far as hits are concerned, unless you, you're confident you can actually beat them. Let's take out this Jesse, please. There we go. That's going to be a kill. The poison takes her down. Not too bad, guys. And Daryl's just on the enemy team side, just sort of camping like, hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, guys, what's up? How's it going? What's going on, Jesse? Are you doing good? Because I'm doing good. Let's take out that Mortis. Seven and four things again looking very, very nice for us at the moment. Do some damage because, again, we're just out of uh, shot or visible shot range. Like, the end of our shots can actually, if we can predict their movement, hit out of line where they can actually see us shoot them, which is pretty awesome. So, definitely works out very well for us uh, when you have a lot of different barriers that you can sort of just shoot around. Ouch. Big oof. Big oof, guys. Mortis is going to go down without too much of a fight. That went well. And uh, hopefully we can take out this Jessie as well. She's going to get a little bit overwhelmed, but she didn't go down quite as when I thought she was going to anyways. We're going to go ahead and shoot that super. Unfortunately, I'm going to run straight into the super from Mortis, which kind of sucks. Um, we're going to go one for one there. Two for one, actually, because Mortis did get two kills. So that's a respectable effort. He definitely did pretty good there. 17 and 11. Uh, we're looking okay still. We're looking okay still. If I could stop getting hit, that would be just phenomenal. Um, just jump r right on top of Mortis there. Unfortunately, it's not going to work out. That sucks, guys. That was really, really close. That was really, really close. We're going to go ahead and take out Mortis, though, which is nice. I need to just stay back, and we need to hope that Jessie doesn't realize the position she's in because she could take out probably two of us. 
uh, if she were to force us back and then attack with her super and uh, possibly Brock's super at the same time. That definitely was a little bit of a bad situation for them. Let's see. Can we please save the day? Daryl, 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 Daryl. Save the day. Save the day, Daryl. Save the day, Daryl. Save the day. Uh, Mortis is going to go ahead and grab that kill. I need to get out of the way. Unfortunately, I'm going to die there. But Gargolem is going to go ahead and shoot off his super. 25 and 16. We are now 9 ahead, which is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and throw down my super as well. That's going to connect with Mortis. He's going to try to make some stuff happen here. But unfortunately, it will not happen. 29 and 16 taking home another W. Putting us far in the positive range with Piper this episode. I have to say that went very, very well, guys. Much better than I thought it was going to. Mad shout out to the team because that was awesome. Great matches overall. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, if you have any ideas for future videos you'd like to see, any topics, any guides, anything at all, drop them down in the comment section below. And until the next one, guys, have a fantastic day. Peace.